This video is brought to you by Steamforged Games and their Epic Encounter series. And by Hitpoint Press and their Big Bad Booklet series. Hello and welcome back to the Gallant Goblin. We're almost at the end of the Dungeons & Lasers 3 Kickstarter campaign and I wanted to take this opportunity to show you one of the dragons that you can pick up during the Kickstarter as an add-on or as part of your pledge. This is the Dragon of Schmargenrog. Many thanks to Dungeons & Lasers for sending it our way to review. He's actually part of the Epic NPC Man universe. If you've never heard of it, Epic NPC Man is a series on YouTube by Viva La Dirt League. They put out just a ton of short videos parroting things and video games and RPGs. It's a huge channel. Go check it out if you haven't already. We'll throw a link down below so you can go do that. For now though, let's get this dragon out of the box and take a closer look. The Dragon of Schmargenrog comes unassembled and unpainted. Out of the box you'll find two sprues of parts. You'll need a nice pair of mini clippers to remove the parts from the sprue, though a good pair of scissors will work in a pinch. If you look closely at the sprues, you'll see that each part is numbered. The numbers correspond to the included full color instructions, which for the most part are quite good and clear, though you need to look closely at the little dotted lines to make sure that you know where everything fits. Here is the finished product. Keep in mind that dexterity is my dump stat, so putting together minis with lots of parts isn't exactly my strong suit, so there's a few gaps here and there, particularly in the tail that's on me. And I did make a mistake putting him together that I was able to fix, and I'll tell you all about that in a moment. The dragon is 157 millimeters tall or 6.1 inches tall. He's on a large size base, which would make him a young dragon in 5e and Pathfinder. In a moment, I'll show you an example of what he looks like all painted up. His looks don't exactly correspond to an existing D&D dragon type, but with the horns like that, I think he makes a pretty good black dragon. I think you could make him a passable blue dragon as well, even a red dragon maybe. So the only trouble I had was that I put his left arm in the wrong place. I actually attached it over where his left wing needed to go. The super glue had dried before I realized my mistake. I should have dry fitted at least the larger pieces, but I was doing this in a hurry to get the video out to you before the Kickstarter ended. So what I was able to do was use a little bit of concentrated simple green cleaner and the smallest, thinnest knife I have. I slowly worked it through and separated the attached arm and then reattached it at the correct location and the rest was fine. Here you can see the Dragon or Schmargenrog next to a few other painted and unpainted dragon minis from the Icons of the Realms and Pathfinder Battle series by WizKids. As you can see, it fits right in and looks fantastic. Let me show you an example of what he can look like painted up with a nice lava effect on the stone underneath him. That's straight from the current Kickstarter. It only took me about an hour or so to fully assemble him, not counting the time it took me to correct my error. It wasn't a difficult assembly. Large minis like this tend to be easier to work with than smaller ones, at least for me. And he looks really cool and unique. If you want to experiment with painting some lava, this is your chance. Before we wrap up though, I wanted to show you some pictures of the town sewer set that we reviewed last week, all painted up by members of the Dungeons and Lagers community. It's really amazing what folks are able to accomplish and I'm just so jealous of their talent. I need to practice more with Nestor. If you wanna see though our full review of the Town Sewer set without me painting it, check that eye out in the corner of your screen. And check out the Kickstarter at the link in the video description down below. It ends on Wednesday, May 19th. So do it right now if you're interested. Those village minis aren't to be missed either. Don't sleep on those. We have two kind sponsors for this video. First, Steamforce Games. Their Epic Encounter series is, I think, the best new D&D product to come out in recent years. Each box gives you a whole D&D experience. You get fantastic unpainted minis, maps, tokens, and a guidebook with an adventure and advice on running cinematic fun encounters. You can get goblins, orcs, kobolds, a frost giant, a hydra, or a huge red dragon. If you want to take your dragon encounters to the next level, you need this box and its encounter book. What you learn here will improve all your future dragon fights. And their next sets are landing soon too, Chamber of the Serpent Folk and Temple of the Snake God. Learn more and get your boxes today at steamforge.com. We also want to thank our good friends at Hitpoint Press, 
home of the Big Bad Booklet series, a monthly zine about boss monsters for 5th edition. Each new booklet gives you a fresh, unique, creative adventure for your gaming group. You get a story, role-playing tips, layer information, minions, stat blocks, full-color art, and story hooks to tell a standalone story or to tie it into your ongoing campaigns. This month, come meet Exaxia, an arachnid thorn witch with a hypnotizing scent used to lure in her prey. Can you escape Exaxia's eight-legged clutches, or will you find yourself in a thorny situation? Subscribe today at BigBads.com. And thank you for watching today. Another Kickstarter ending soon is for Siren's Battle of the Bards, a book which Grady and I are helping to write. Here's Satine with more. Hey, little goblins. So nice to see you here. Go check out thebardbook.com right now. We're in Kickstarter. It's amazing. We have a whole bunch of awesome writers, two of them. In fact, you know very well. Theo and Grady. That's right. They're writing in more books. That's right. Go check it out. Thebardbook.com is called Sirens Battle of the Bards. It's in Kickstarter right now. Please check it out. Click all the buttons and then hit da ding buy now because it is only going to be around for a month. So thank you so much. Enjoy the rest of your show. And check out the last few episodes of My Battle of the Bards live play show, A Song for the Shadows, on Mondays at 9 p.m. Eastern Time, 6 p.m. Pacific, at twitch.tv slash gildinglight. And join me for an after party at twitch.tv slash thegallantgoblin about 10 minutes after the show concludes. This week we're joined by producer extraordinaire DC Lasserre. And thank you for watching today, particularly all the way to the end here. I have a lot of projects I want to share with you these days, so thank you for listening. Exciting things are afoot here that I hope you'll enjoy in the coming months. And come and join us on Discord to chat and hear all the latest gossip. Get all the behind-the-scenes scoops and latest happenings by supporting us on Patreon. Patreon is going to be how we keep growing and providing you content, so any help you can provide there will help us out a lot. You can also find us on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. I hope you're doing well out there. Stay safe, have fun, love each other, and I'll see you next time at the Gallant Goblin. <laughs>